Hello viewers, welcome to the CAP RNF training. If you have not subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe as we proceed with today's training. We'll be looking at vulnerability management. Now, first of all, we'll be talking about vulnerability. We'll define vulnerability. Vulnerability is a weakness in a security program that can be exploited by a threat to gain an unauthorized access to an asset. Now, vulnerability scanning, we'll be looking at vulnerability scanning. Vulnerability scanning is the process of using a computer program to identify vulnerabilities in a network, computer infrastructure, or applications. Next, we'll be looking at vulnerability management itself. Vulnerability management is the process in which vulnerabilities in IT are identified and the risks of these vulnerabilities are evaluated. It is also the process surrounding vulnerability management as well as risk analysis, risk acceptance and remediation. We'll be looking at the vulnerability management process. There are five phases involved in managing a vulnerability. Five phases involved in the vulnerability management process. The first phase is the preparation phase. At this phase, this defines the scope of the vulnerability management process. At this phase, you determine the type of scan to be conducted. Are you conducting a scan against the external network or the internal network? Are you conducting a scan against the public facing server or the internal server? At this phase, you also determine the IP for the application or for the system you know, that the scan will be conducted on. Then the next phase is the initial vulnerability scan. You conduct your vulnerability scan after you must have identified the IP address for the application or for the system. So you conduct the vulnerability scan. After you conduct the vulnerability scan, it takes us to the next phase, which is you define your remediation action. At this phase, the risk to each vulnerability is being determined. You determine the risk. The security analyst you know, reviews the vulnerability scan, the vulnerability scan report, and determines the risk to each vulnerability. After determining the risk to each vulnerability, and even on the vulnerability scan, it's going to show you the impact level you know, um, that is mapped to each identified vulnerability. Now, after determining the risk to, re to each vulnerability, the security analyst will take the next step to, to develop the plan of action and milestone, POEM, which is a CA5 control. Now, the POEM is used to determine the remediation timeline you know, for each identified vulnerability. It is used to document any identified vulnerability and it is used to track those vulnerabilities to remediation. Now, remember that if you identify, let's say on the vulnerability scan report, you identify maybe uh, critical vulnerabilities, high impact vulnerabilities, moderate and low. Critical vulnerabilities and high impact vulnerabilities are remediated first. And a critical vulnerability should be remediated as soon as possible or in less than 30 days. A high impact vulnerability should be remediated in 30, within a 30 day period. And a moderate impact vulnerability should be remediated within a period of 60 to 90 days, depending on the organization policy, depending on the organization vulnerability management policy. And a low impact vulnerability should be remediated within a period of 180 days. Now that takes us to the implement. You implement your remediation action. You implement your remediation action. In implementing your remediation action, you have to determine if a short-term remediation is possible or not. If a short-term remediation is possible for any identified vulnerability, let's say we identify a high impact vulnerability, which is to be remediated within the period of 30 days. If the vulnerability can be remediated within that period of 30 days, then you go ahead and remediate the vulnerability. If the vulnerability cannot be remediated within a period of 30 days, 
then you have to implement compensating controls to mitigate the vulnerability or to remove the risk without actually fixing or remediating the vulnerability and in this case there has to be a document you know to to support that that document is called the risk acceptance memo or the waiver memo the risk acceptance memo has to be developed by the system owner you know and it has to be presented to the authorizing official the authorizing official is going to review the risk acceptance memo and is going to sign off on it so that will be in place to support the compensating controls that is already being implemented you know to mitigate the vulnerability now that takes us to the next step which is the risk scan at the risk scan step you know you conduct a risk scan let's say you are the ISSO or the security analyst and the um, the technical guy or the technical team you know the you reach out to them to actually get status because normally you should be reaching out to them you know every month to get a status or weekly you know to get a status on any identified vulnerability so you reach out to the uh, technical guy and the guy told you that the vulnerability is remediated so the next thing for you to do as a security analyst is for you to request for a rescan of that vulnerability using the same vulnerability scanning tool if a Nessu scan was used to conduct this, the, the vulnerability scan, you know, the first vulnerability scan, the same Nessu scanning tool should be used to rescan, you know, the network so that you can have a concrete result. You can have a concrete result. If you use a different scanning tool, the results may not be accurate so that you can have an accurate result. The results may not be accurate. So you have to use the same scanning tool to rescan, you know, uh, the uh, system, to rescan the uh, network, to, to conduct a new vulnerability scan. Now, the report of the new vulnerability scan should show you that the previously the the vulnerabilities that were previously identified you know have been remediated by the time it generates the vulnerability scan report when you review it any identified vulnerabilities that was previously identified or that was, that was previously on the previous um uh, vulnerability scan reports will not appear or will not come up on this new scan report except they are false positives i hope this video is helpful be sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you for watching.